Oranje de Wee. Hallo Lydia de Wee. Hallo Tommy de Wee. Hallo Tara de Wee. Nee, please can hard on a skulk of the of Pamia. Rwy'n mwyn hai bod yn llus genad chwaraeon oherwydd rwy'n mwyn hai gweld plant eraill yn datblygu sgiliau newydd. Rwy'n mwyn hai bod llus genad chwaraeon oherwydd rwy'n mwyn hai chwaraeon ac mae'n cadw mynia. Rwy'n mwyn hai bod yn llus genad chwaraeon oherwydd rwy'n mwyn hai chwaraeon ac yn hoffi hygu bwysicaf cadw hyn i, i plant eraill. Rwy'n hoffi bod yn llus genad chwaraeon oherwydd in rhyw barn sy'n gyda nhw'n unrhyw beth maen nhw'n gweld fewn yr ysgol. Maen nhw'n siarad ar Llys Genhadon sy'n wedi yn adrodd nôl i'r athrawes chwaraeon mewn cyfarfod. Mae'r plant bendant yr llais i gweld yr ysgol ond be maen nhw'n gweld yn y maes chwaraeon. of courses which are sport related offered to us from the council uh, at subsidised prices which is great. We also get, um, we've got our 5160 officer Barry and we've got the head of PE who can, we can talk to at any time. We also um, get the chance to fill out um, first aid courses and just learn extra skills. <laughs> I've, been, I've been able to um, marshal at a um, Sandbank Marathon and other events on Anglesey and I got the opportunity to, get, to go down to um, Cardiff and meet lots of um, people who did athletics and some of the um, people who competed in the Olympics. Yeah, we work very closely with all the other children in sixth form who can promote messages throughout the school. Also, we've got no trouble speaking to the headmaster about putting leaflets in the, in the registers and 
spreading it out. Also, um, the children sort of, um, because we're basically the teacher at, um, when we do sports, they can come to us with anything. So if they've got any issues, we can sort of project that and we get more respect from the teacher sort of thing. So we can say what's troubling the children as well. Definitely, there's been a massive rise in the amount of children taking part in sport, especially girls. I mean, boot camp sessions are through the roof. They're about 90% filled with girls, whereas the gym is packed out. Also, um, Zumba is now on a Friday, and um, it's made so it's only girls. So um, this means that they're not embarrassed by um, dancing in front of boys or whatever. So um, that's quite good for my It means being, it means responsibility and looking after kids and promoting them through the stages which could be difficult for them so that they continue to lead a healthy and active lifestyle when they're older. Uh, I'm Cameron Wells and I'm a gold ambassador and from the school Carbon Newman. I'm Beth and Nisham. I go to Brink Arnold School and I'm a Gold Ambassador for RCT. Um, through being a Young Ambassador, I've had the opportunity to take part in an interviewing panel for the new YA intern. I've also been able to speak with the Welsh governing body of sport. Um, and I also got the opportunity to go out to Africa for a few weeks and teach the Africans tag rugby. Yeah, and uh, I basically did uh, some, some similar thing to you with a steering group and started uh, kind of a volleyball team within my school, which kind of went on to national level with um, Volleyball Wales. Being a young ambassador, I'd say you gain a lot of confidence the more you move up. So as a bronze, you start to be able to organise kids. As you go up to gold, as you go up through silver, you start to communicate more with adults. And then as you go up to gold, it's more like important adults and you start to gain more confidence through that. Uh, obviously it means to me increasing participation in schools. Uh, I, with my job for level, I've learned a lot about the kind of rising obesity levels in the UK and the USA at the moment. And I think tackling that is one of the major problems of society today. So for me, it's mostly to do with that. I think for me, it's just seeing the younger kids with a smile on their face and maybe some of the kids who would not have taken part in sport to now be taking part in sport because of the YA system. Hi, I'm Philippa and I'm Platinum Ambassador for the RCT. a lot more punctual, uh, more organised and generally more I know about workplace and how you work within the professional industry. The Young Ambassador Scheme for RCT has been a massive help in terms of um, providing a workforce for our communities and schools. Um, the RCT Young Ambassador Scheme has been running for, I think it's going into its fourth year now, uh, and in that time we've managed to get 80 Silver Ambassadors or Addy Stars on board. Um, we're on to our second Platinum Ambassador now and also um, through the system we've had about 8 Gold Ambassadors go through. Uh, and the opportunities that have been provided now with our community sport team and our junior sport team is proving dividends because we've got Young Ambassadors working on the 560 scheme in our secondary schools we're about to launch our Bronze Ambassador Scheme in our primary schools and also the Gold Ambassadors are working well in the communities, community sports clubs and also organising events for the Silver Ambassadors as well. Three years ago when the Young Ambassador Scheme start, first started to evolve um, I was a shy sort of um, uh, student in Preston High School doing my A-levels. Um, didn't really have much confidence, didn't have much direction in my life. Um, I didn't, didn't really know where I wanted to take myself. 
Um, but one thing I did know is that sport was my passion, and that was where I wanted to sort of um, stand and drive, drive my efforts from. Um, so I, I decided that um, eventually that it'd be a good idea to take a sort of gap year, um, just to finish off my A-levels. And then during that time, I, I decided that I wanted to become a physical education tutor. The Younger Master Scheme um, was first proposed to me by my 560 officer, John Ellis, at the Stanton High School. And he suggested it'd be a good idea for me to take, um, take the opportunity to be, to be part of the programme, um, as it was sort of already adding to what I was doing. And myself, I started becoming more and more confident in leading these sports activities. I started gaining qualifications. Um, I sort of started changing as a person, really. I, you know, I was delivering assemblies um, every other week on, on sports and the 560 and the Young Ambassador Programme. The young people immediately started benefiting from it um, as they seen you know, a young person um, leading other young people and peers and, and even elders. The, the whole community really benefiting from the Young Ambassador Scheme. Um, like I was saying before, from, from events involving the whole school, sports clubs, um, you know, to, to having famous athletes come in and, and really right at the heart of that is the Young Ambassador Scheme, which is, which is the driving force of a group of young people that are passionate about sport and passionate about engaging young people in sport. Um, so that they're really working hard to, to get every kid hooked on sport for life. There's participation within our school, within our county, and even nationwide is starting to, to increase. Um, thanks to the Young Ambassador Scheme, uh, they're, really, they're really getting the opportunities that they deserve uh, to experience, not just um, your common school sports like football, rugby, khaki, netball, and so on, but you know, they're experiencing like BMXing, Olympic wrestling, taekwondo, and such things that they wouldn't really get to experience in everyday uh, life. And you know, there's there's a real pathway for success uh, for the future that's being developed and, and will continue to be developed. The Young Ambassador Scheme helped me get into university, um, which is really um, what I needed to do to, to get to where I want to be. Um, and I, I think you know, sort of broadened my horizons in terms of I at the moment I think I believe I I can achieve anything. I believe that um, whatever I, I want to do, um, I'm able to do. And, um, Three years ago, I definitely wouldn't have thought that. Uh, recently, I've been selected to be a member of the advisory board for Sport Wales, which allows me to have um, a young person's perspective um, and my own perspective on um, all sporting issues across Wales. In summary, really, I think it's changed me as a person. It's definitely made me a, a much better person, who, um, and who I am today. Um, it's provided me with me uh, thousands of opportunities. Um, it's, you know, and see, seeing the benefits for me is, is the best thing. Seeing the, seeing the kids really gain from, from uh, what the young ambassadors are doing across the, the county, across the nation, um, is really inspiring. I think it will continue to progress and develop even further. So.